good. Good. Two good inside. Good combination with this for you would be like just a drop set and then immediately over to like a rowing movement. You want to work all the upper body together. Uh -huh. um, and then so drop set, if I don't have help, maybe I'll get one of my kids to help me or something. But if I'm here by myself, would mean to do that set with the slow, uh, short range, putting a lot of stimulus on the muscle. But if I fail, setting it down and then adding a little bit less weight. And then immediately strip it off, go again to failure. Okay. And if you feel you still have a little juice left, like you should feel at the end of a set that you can't do another. Sure. So if you do that drop set and you still feel like you got a little juice left, you haven't necessarily inroaded enough, you do it again. But over time, when you get good at this, you're going to find that you can only tolerate one set. Okay. Like, for instance, personally, if I do a set to failure, even if I wait a minute, two minutes, I can only get three reps on the next set because they're cooked. So it does take a little practice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you want to go from, like, you know, a horizontal push with the anterior muscles to, like, a row. Okay. So we go right. into a row. Uh, because I'm doing it like a beast. I usually throw dumbbells, I stack it, I put dumbbells on there, and I'm okay. banging them out. But if I'm going to go as slow as you're showing me, um, stack maybe would be Most a good place to begin. Are gonna wanna, when they start training this way with this cadence, they're going to want to reduce their weight by about 20 to 40%. They're I think just using the stack by itself, uh, that would probably be a good place to begin. On a rowing movement, a flexion movement, you want to hold the contraction for one to two seconds but before. Not all the way in. You can go as far as you want, really. Um, hold it, you said, for four seconds? I would hold it for one to two seconds and then slowly change direction and then avoid fully locking out your elbows here. Oh, I see. So stop right about there. So you don't, yeah, you don't want to uh, roll your shoulders forward because that's going to take the tension off the working muscle, which in this case is going to be the lats, rhomboids, trapezius, rear delts. And another thing that a lot of people like to do with this, they like to lean back. Right. Because again, in their mind, make the handles move, they make the weight move. But you always want to keep your torso upright like that. If you want to hit the lats a little more, you could lean back, but you want to stay in that position. That's exactly how you want it to look. So your goal, your goal and your focus is to squeeze and contract here. Just mentally be thinking that the whole time, loading that muscle tissue. Three, two, slowly change direction again. Squeeze the lats, rhomboids, traps. You basically just want to punish the target of muscle group. Think about just punishing the muscle. And you should you should almost look like a robot doing this. You're doing it perfectly. You don't want anything else on your body moving. You want nothing helping you get the weight up. You want only the targeted muscle group moving this resistance. Perfect. Got just a couple more left in the tank here. They're gonna get really tough here. You wanna stay focused and try not to let the muscle rest at all. You wanna make it as difficult and intense as possible. That's what stimulates your body. There you go, coming back. Continue to pull, continue to pull. Hold and breathe. Hold the breathe down slow. It's going to be tough, but down slow. Again, slowly change direction. This is when your body wants to jerk the weight. Here we go. Good, 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 good. Keep squeezing. A little closer. And hold two seconds. One. Back down slow. We're going to shoot for two or three more. They're going to feel nearly impossible. Go ahead, right back. Perfect. Maintain the form. Maintain the form. We got two more. Do not quit. I can tell you have them in you. Easy back again. Pull hard. Hold. Good. Down again. Slow. Remember, don't rest at the bottom here. Ah! Back and breathe. Go. Good. Slow. You got more. You're going one more. Slow. Slow. This is failure right here. Ready? Easy back. Easy back. Hold and breathe. Two seconds. Four. Hold it. Three. Hold it. Two. Very slow to the bottom. Very slow. Very slow. And gently set it down. Beautiful. Man. See, it's easier to instruct on a machine because all that skill is taken out of it. So right. See how much harder you can push when you take away a skill-based movement? Right. A little different, huh? Hmm. Mm-hmm. 
drstatrust.com. 